All right, everyone, welcome to our Why I Coach call. We have an awesome lineup for you tonight. We are going to hear from three of my favorite people, Chantel Adams, Tirza Hellier, and Nicole Ludwig. They are three of our tribe team coaches. They are sister coaches and just three amazing ladies. Um, they have all been coaching for varying amounts of time, so you're gonna kind of get um, a veteran side of things, um, and more of a newbie side of things. And they all have some unique experiences in coaching and a lot to offer you tonight. So I'm excited for you to listen. Um, I love these calls because what you get to hear is three completely different perspectives of coaching, what it's done for their lives and sort of how they've used coaching in different ways to better themselves, better their lives and what it's done for them. And maybe you'll connect with one of their stories and maybe you'll see if you'll feel that coaching may be a good fit for you and maybe that um, it's a good okay, just a minute and they all are moms too and they get to do it at home just like me and have their kids walk in on them for call during calls like this um, so um, anyway I am so excited to hear from them I hope you're excited too and we will get rolling we're gonna start off tonight with Tirza and then we will hear from Nicole, and then we'll finish off with Chantel. Um, I would encourage you after you listen to this call, if you have any further questions about coaching, to reach out to the coach that sent you this call and ask them. They are more than happy to answer any questions about coaching and share more about the compensation plan, about the, the structure of Team Beachbody, about what it entails, and things like that. This is more of a, um, a heartfelt call about why these girls choose to coach and their stories. But if you're interested in, in learning more about, about those different things, um, they're, they're more than happy to share the compensation plan, like I said, and the logistics of the business. So with that, we'll get started and take it away. Cheers, Beth. Hi, guys. So I'm excited to talk to you tonight. Um, I guess the, the thoughts that have been kind of rolling around in my head is, you know, it's always interesting to think back to when you started your journey um, because I feel like I was a different person then than I am now. Um, but thinking back and kind of reflecting to what got me started into coaching um, really was my love for fitness. And that really rooted, um, was really deep rooted when, um, you know, going, when I started really going through my, like, postpartum baby, like, just kind of those, you're just in it mom years, and um, I feel like I kind of lost myself, and I don't know that we ever really forget who we are, but I, I kind of, I, I just, I didn't see me, I kind of lost my, lost who I was, and um, when I started running, when I started my journey to take care of myself, I started to feel like, I started to feel like I had hope and I started to feel like I could um, actually like enjoy life again. And running and, and um, kind of that journey where it started for me was, um, was kind of, it was just a beautiful thing for me because it, it got me out of that dark place and those, um, just those days where it felt like nothing really, I don't know, it, it was almost like I, I, ha I was, should have been happy, but somehow through fitness, it helped me find the strength to be able to get through the hard days and have something to look forward to. And I just fell in love with it. And, um, and I understand now well, there's so many, you know, benefits to your mind and your heart and everything because of fitness. But I didn't understand that all the time. I just knew I loved it. and. Um, and so it, I'd been a couple of years, I guess, into my journey and I was really passionate about um, my routine and working out. And I had actually um, kind of recruited a friend in with me to come over to my house and do, we, we had ordered like Pio and P90X, um, I think the shorter version P90X3 and um, T25 and we were like, we we're just kind of mixing up. We didn't even like look at the calendars or the meal plans. We were just like, we're just gonna do this three days a week and run and just kind of hold each other accountable. And 
um, I had no idea about coaching. I had no idea about um, really much about Beachbody other than the workouts works for my life. And um, I had had a gym membership for like forever, probably like, I don't know, there's probably five different times where I had it for like a year or more and just couldn't seem to go and couldn't get in a good routine. And I started to feel like so much better, just more toned. I started to get leaner. And um, I was like, okay, give me all the like fitness events and the races. Like, I just want to do this. Um, and so about that time, I, um, I got introduced to my coach, Chantel, which she's on the call. And she invited me um, through Facebook to a, um, I think it was just the November challenge. And um, November is kind of that time of year where um, it just gets a little tricky. It starts to get a little colder and all the yummy like food starts to kick in and all the holidays and Halloween and everything. And I was like, I was just needing a little bit of something. And, and um, when she invited me to her group, um, and I think it was just like a November challenge, um, get healthy or something. I don't remember what it was, but I, what, I just said, yes, I was like, sure. Um, so that's kind of where I got started. And I ended up um, in her challenge group. And um, I was, I'm not one of those people that say yes very easily, but my heart was already like loving fitness and I was needing something. I was needing a little bit, something more, a little bit more accountability at the time. Um, and so when she invited me, it was a pretty, like, I was pretty excited to come in and, um, and have that support. And I fell in love with it right away. Like I fell in love with like the idea of like tracking and also seeing other women that were working out too. And I was just like, this is awesome. Um, and I kind of got the feeling like, okay, she's gonna, you know, maybe talk to me about coaching or something. And cause I was like, you know, I, I was in good shape. I was like, she probably thinks I'd be a good coach, but I, at the same time, I was also very like, um, skeptical about stuff. And I didn't like, um, I guess you could say I just I didn't like being pressured to do anything and so when she did ask me I was like no I'm, that's, I'm good but I did really want the discount on um, on Shakeology it seemed like the smarter thing to do and so I originally I got in line like I didn't even tell her I just signed up for a coach account so I could get my discount at Shakeology and um, it was about gosh, because I told her, I was like, no, it's just for the discount. Like, um, I just really like it. And I, I want to try it for a full 30 days. And, and my body seems to really like the nutrition and Shakeology. And, um, and after the couple of weeks, um, gosh, my, like, I couldn't stop thinking about it. Like my, um, every run I was on, I was like, what if I could coach? Like, and so I kind of, started thinking about it a little bit more and I started noticing her posts a little bit more um, about some of the events she got to go on and um, and the the ins inspiration that she shared. Um, I think at the time or maybe a little bit before, before that she had been training for a marathon and I was really inspired by her and her motivation and how she shared that and so um, it just wouldn't leave me alone and I remember telling um, my friend one day were out for a run and I was like, gosh, dang it. I'm just so stressed out. And she's like, what about? And I was like, well, because I can't stop thinking about this coaching thing. And she's like, wait, what? Like who's putting pressure on you? I was like, nobody, just me. Like I can't stop thinking about it. And I just wonder if I should, if it's the right move for me. And, um, and so, um, you know, it, it just, I think one day it finally clicked and I was like, I have an opportunity here to just start sharing my journey. And so when I first started, um, I think that is what initially really excited me was that I could share like where I had come from in my, my dark place and I had overcome, I could share this now. And I had like a tool and a reason. And, you know, a lot of people share on social media and stuff, but it's not really like, it's not always the it's it's usually the highlight reel and I was excited to share my journey and ex and excited to share the messages that were in my heart just like I had seen my coach share um and so I that's initially really why I started 
Um, and then as time went on, I got excited about the events. I get excited about getting paid for fitness. I was like, seriously, I can get paid to stay healthy. I can get my nutritionals paid for. I can um, be able to earn these trips. And so it kind of got more exciting as time went on. Um, and, you know, going from there until now, it's interesting because what coaching has done for me, um, gosh, I just really feel like it's hard to just put like, you know, like, oh, it's just done this one thing because I feel like truly it's helped me open up, um, help me find my voice. It's helped me realize that I really love to teach. Um, I really have a, a deep thinking heart and I have um, a lot that I like and I love to share. And those were things that honestly, like people that knew me at the time probably had no idea about any of that. And even me, like, I feel like I kind of just not even tapped into that. And so as time went on, um, I feel like it's opened a lot of doors for me. Um, I was also living in a place at the time where I was um, very much at a negative space with social media. Um, I had probably deleted over like half of my friends um, on Facebook. I was really tired of comparison and um, just kind of the anxiety trap it was putting me in. I was, um, I was just like, nope, just I haven't talked to that friend forever. They're gone, you know, and I was just, I was tired of it. I was, you know, I wasn't looking at social media as a way to uplift and help and inspire people and encourage people. I had no idea. All it was was checking my feed, scrolling, and that's it. There was no purpose in it. And so when I, when I got into coaching and really truly learned the purpose of making those deep connections and lifting and inspiring people, whether they're coaching or into fitness or not, it really opened my heart. And so it's really opened a lot of meaning real, meaningful relationships in my life. And um, honestly, um, man, I'm going to like cry. Um, I just feel like I'm, I'm definitely not the same person I was when I started um, because I, I was the kind of girl that would look at people and I would just judge them and I wasn't leading with love. And that is definitely one thing that when I started in as a coach and they taught about how we, 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 we come together and we lift each other up and we, um, we encourage each other together. We're, we're rising and inspiring by example is truly how it is with coaching. And, um, and so that really is why I continue to coach before coaching. Um, that's one thing that I really struggled with was, um, staying consistent with things. And I started somewhere along in my life, um, really making commitments to myself that I was, you know, I signed up for this race. I'm going to finish it. You know, I'm, I signed up for this marathon. I'm going to do it. And with coaching, there's been some struggles and some, some things for me that I've had to really work at and look at closer and find, um, find my, where my heart is and find, um, where my purpose in coaching is again and again and again. But in the long run, it's taught me that I'm capable of great things. I'm capable of, um, going the distance of continuing on when things are hard. And, um, I'm truly so grateful for that. And that is, um, and that is really, that's, that's my story. And I'm just grateful to be a part of an incredible tribe of women. I feel like coaching has helped me align with the people that I was meant to meet and I was meant to have in my life. And I'm grateful every day I get to be a part of this. So thank you, ladies. Okay, I guess it's my turn. Um, Tirza, you're amazing. And um, I, have watched you from the day you came in and just grow so much. And it's been so fun to watch and see you grow. And you're definitely an example to me. And all of these ladies on here are. So um, that has been awesome for me. Um, 
I'm not much of a talker. I'm so this will be short for me. Um, but I was thinking, I was trying to think, what should I say? But um, I'll just kind of share a little bit about like what, what drew me in, what brought me here, why I'm here, I guess. So um, I actually did beach body programs way before I was even a coach. Um, I started back with like Turbo Jam with Shaleen Johnson. And I did that. Um, I was going to the gym a lot and I love going to classes. Um, but then I was doing hair and um, busy. I had a baby and I was like, gosh, I cannot make it to the gym. Like, how am I supposed to do this? And so I saw this infomercial. I bought Turbo Jam um, and I would put my baby in her bassinet her little swing and I would do turbo jam and it was like the best thing for me and just kind of helped me to get motivated. And then, um, and then I bought insanity and did that whole program and saw amazing results and loved it. Um, I had, I had friends my sister-in-law came and did it with me. Another friend, I was like telling all these people about it, just like how, how much it changed me. And I'd see people at the pool and they're like, what are you doing? You look so good. And, um, so yes, I'd already loved it. Um, I had my second baby and I was like, I know what to do. I'm just going to do insanity again, get that weight off. Um, I never worry about nutrition. I was just like, Oh, I don't need to worry about that. But, um, then, um, fast forward, same with tears. I like, I always just loved fitness. Like even I was a dancer, like all growing up. I love, I did track. I just, I just loved the way that exercise made me feel. So that part was just in me. So, um, but after I had my third baby, um, it was a winter baby. He was a winter baby. And I was just feeling like so down. And I was like, I know I need to exercise. Like I know what I need to do, but I just couldn't get myself to do it. Um, and like, I was like, Hey, what, what could I do? Um, I was thinking maybe I'll go to the rec center and I could go run or just trying to think of things to like get me out of this, like darkness that I was, was kind of in. Um, and my husband was always gone. He was working three jobs and I was like, I'm by myself with three kids. Like I can't do this. And I just needed something. So, um, anyways, my coach is Chantel as well, who is one of my dear friends now. Um, but we were, we were actually not, I mean, we were friends, I would say, but no, more like acquaintances, I guess, but like we knew each other. Um, so, but I had kept, I was seeing her on social media and she was posting about like, um, just different motivational quotes, different workouts. And I would do some of her workouts that she would post, um, just be like, Oh, I need to work out today. I'll go do that. Um, but she was talking about this program insanity max 30. And I was like, oh, it just like got me excited. And I was like, Oh my gosh, it's only 30 minutes. I already love insanity. Um, but I was like, I don't know. I'm scared to like message her. So, um, I just kept, as I was looking at her Instagram, like, she just kept posting about it in Sandy Max 30. And, and I was like, okay. And so I commented on one of her posts and I was like, I'm interested. Um, anyway, so that's, um, I bought that program from her and she invited me to be in her group. Um, and that was like exactly what I needed at that time. It just, um, I felt like I was excited again. Like it, I was excited to get up in the mornings, even though it was so hard. Like I was dying in those workouts. Like couldn't, I had to modify the modifier, <laughs> but, um, I just started to realize I was changing inside. Like I was feeling happier. I was nicer to my husband, not so like negative to him all the time about how much he worked <laughs> and um I just kind of yeah just just started to feel better and and I loved this community that Chantel was um was doing and I and I remember like um being excited to see what she had posted that day like okay what's the what's the challenge for the day like and it was always something 
different, even sim simple, like, you know, drink a lot of water today, or um, every time you open the fridge, do 10 jumping jacks, like it just, and I would do all of them, just, it, it just kind of made me look, have something to look forward to in my days of being a mom, and that's all that I had, which being a mom is great, but I just needed something more in my life at that time. So, uh, anyways, then, um, the group ended and, um, you know, I was like, I want to, I want to do Shakeology. Um, and, you know, she told me about the discount for coaching and I had not thought about coaching at all. I didn't even know that I could do that. Um, what she was doing. So, um, and I actually did look into coaching like four years prior. Um, I just was looking on the website and saw that um, you could sign up to be a coach, but I was like, oh, I could never do that. And so I didn't think anything more about it. But um, even still, like when with Chantel, I was like, oh, I, I couldn't do what she's doing. So, um, but you know, she, she told me about the um, discount and I was like, okay, I think, I think I want to do that. Like I, I already know I love their programs. I love the products and, but I was still scared. Like I was like, Oh my gosh, what am I signing up for? Like, I don't like, I don't like being like, uh, I have to, to like be attached to something, you know, like, okay, what are they going to make me do? What am I like signing my life away? <laughs> um, but I remember being so scared to like sign up to be a coach and, and I didn't even have any like, desires or I didn't even think about actually like coaching. I just was like, all right, yeah, the discount. Um, but then Chantel started kind of talking to me like about, you know, maybe you should kind of share your story. Cause I had lost, um, at first I'd lost like 16 pounds doing insanity. And, you know, she was like, you should share that. And I was like, oh gosh, no way. Um, but I decided to share it on my Instagram and, you know, I had tons of people that were like, Oh my gosh, that's amazing. What are you doing? You know? And so Chantel was like, well, you should just, let's just try a group, a group. You can do it with me. And so honestly, that's kind of how it started. Like I, it, I don't want to say it was by accident, but I didn't like intend to like be a coach, like to coach people. But, um, I just got in started doing that first one and I loved it. Like it just gave me, purpose. And again, it, I still was going through a hard time, but it gave me like just something to look forward to and learn and grow. Um, and for me, um, even I have grown leaps and bounds the past three and a half years. Um, but, um, you know, especially like doing a call like this three and a half years ago, I would have been like, like sweating bullets. Like, I can't do this. I don't want to do this. Like, Oh my gosh, just, you know, um, but now I feel like, okay, yeah, I, I can do that. Um, I'm still very quiet and still very much shy, but I feel kind of like how, what Tirza said, like, I feel like I've found my voice, um, even though it's still in a quieter way, um, in a me way, I guess. So, um, found that I don't have to be because what I was scared about when I first started was I'm not bubbly. I'm not that like fun, look at me kind of person that you see a lot of on Instagram. And I was like, that's not me. And, and, but as I've realized, like that is, I don't have to be that. Like I just get to be me and those are the people that I will attract. So, um, yeah, that's kind of, in a nutshell, why I'm, why I'm here. And, um, I feel like what Tirza said too, just, um, meeting so many people, like all of these girls on the call, like, you know, Breezy and Chantel and Tirza, like are some of my really good friends now. Um, and I would have never really known them if it weren't for coaching. And, um, so that I'm so grateful for. And it's also made me like, um, be brave enough to to do other things to be brave enough to talk to to people more and um, it's really really helped me to be a more confident person confident women woman so um, yes that's all I have to share so I'll turn it over to Chantel all right so 
I'm Chantel and I've been coaching for about three and a half years and I am going to, I just, as everybody was talking, I just switched in my mind um, the order I was going to go through. So this might kind of seem like I'm starting at the, the end of the story, but um, well, not the end, but present, I guess. But I keep like one of the questions um, that I could answer tonight is what has coaching done for me? And like, what has it done for my life? And the number one thing that comes to my mind is this right here. This has blessed me with an amazing tribe of women that I could not have found in any other way. And, um, you know, from, from my coach who breezy is to my sister coaches, <laughs> to the coaches that, um, you know, that I'm building a team with. And I mean, I just think at times I'm like, oh my gosh, like, you know, finding girlfriends can be hard. And anybody who's a girl knows that from when you're little till even when you get older. <laughs> and when you find friends who are genuine and share the same passion and you uplift each other, and you share and you grow together and you serve together, there really isn't much out there that's comparable or that can even add up to that. And so, um, you know, as I look back over the last three and a half years, I know that that has been one of the greatest blessings for me to be able to spend the last three and a half years um, being taught, being loved, being able to serve with, to um, spend time with from trips to long talks to running groups together to just so much um, that has been simply amazing um, so again I'm kind of starting like at the present <laughs> right now but coaching really has you've heard this from each one of us now definitely changed um, the trajectory I would say of my of my life. And I know that sounds probably really like dramatic, but it's allowed me to go in a direction to be brave enough to own what I want, who I am, um, and really the courage to live my passion. And that's something that I never really completely dared do. And a lot of that, um, for whatever reason in my mind, I don't know where this came from, but I've always felt like um, I needed to be like everybody else and never really truly found my own identity. Um, you know, if somebody else was doing something or wearing something or whatever, like, and it was cool, like not cool, but I liked it. I was like, Oh, like I, I kind of did it because they did. And, and that sounds bad. Um, I shouldn't say that. Like I just did what everyone else did. That's not true, but <laughs> I never really found my own identity. And I really believe that through a series of different events in my life, which allowed me to find coaching and then through coaching just allowed me to give myself permission to be me, to not be afraid to go after what I wanted, to not be afraid to you know, just follow my heart and have my own opinion about what, who I was, what I wanted. And, um, it seems that, you know, you might think, well, how did coaching do that? Well, coaching has allowed me to get out of that stuck place of feeling like I was stuck that you make a plan and that's what you stick to. Right. I went to school and I have an education degree. And as I was doing my student teaching, I was like, Oh crap. I just spent four and a half years doing the wrong thing, <laughs> but I was done and I needed to keep going. And, um, it actually was a great, big, huge blessing in my life. And I've been able to, um, have a great job at home with my kids, but the reality of it is, and it's, it's hard to say this out loud on a recorded video, <laughs> but that was not my passion. And sometimes we do things in our lives because you just do it. You got to do it. It was a great blessing and allowed me to be a mom along with providing an income for our family and using my degree. And that's right there. It's like, well, that's enough, right? Well, coaching has given me, like I said, the permission to dream bigger. 
And, and for me in my heart, I'm like, just doing, staying on the path, just day after day, doing what you're supposed to do or what you, what the plan was, that was not enough for me. And it allowed me to see that and step out of my fears and really just move forward with faith over fear in, in a journey of discovering what it was that, that I wanted to do and really just, and, and this is a total journey. I don't know if we ever arrived, but really discovering what my purpose is. And that's a scary thing and it's a hard thing, but without coaching, I literally never would have even thought of it. I don't think, or I would have thought about it, but been too scared. And so let's go back to the beginning. Um, I always wanted to be like a fitness person, <laughs> but I really didn't know how. And so I would do little things here and there, but I, in my mind could never be that person. Well, quite a few years ago, I did find a um, gym that I grew from and it was a great opportunity. And all of a sudden I became that person who included health and fitness into their lives. Well, that was the perfect opportunity to get me ready for all of a sudden finding out about coaching. I had no idea. I knew about Beachbody because I saw the infomercials, but I never had bought a program. And somehow Breezy, my coach found me on Instagram. I did have a little fitness account that I had opened, which pretty much my friends were the only followers I had and they were nice to me and would like my posts. <laughs> so when I got something different from somebody, I was like, oh, who's this? Well, Breezy had come, had visited my Instagram account, liked it, commented, I don't remember. So I started, I moved to her account and I started stalking her for a little bit and I read about this, what she does online and she's helping people and she just got back from a trip from Cancun from that her coach had hosted. She was retiring her husband from the farm um, and she was helping people through health and fitness. And I was like, what in the heck is this? So after about a full month of asking her questions, because that's what I do, <laughs> I have to know exactly what I'm getting into and how much it's going to cost and what I'm going to have to do. And if I'm stuck in it forever, and if it's going to take like all of my money out of my bank account, you know, that kind of stuff. So I asked her questions for about a month of what this actually was. And when I discovered that all I had to do was buy a challenge pack and really pay $17 a month, you know, just to keep my coach account, or if I was going to drink Shakeology anyways, I got a discount on it. I was like, okay, I can do this. This is not like a huge risk. I can, I can do this. And I was so not into working out at home. Like I didn't do that unless I slept through my class. And then I would do like a biggest loser video. So this was like, but I, I knew I was like, I have an opportunity to help people. I've always wanted to travel. Like my whole life, I was like, I just want to travel. And I'm like, if I can help people and maybe, maybe, I don't know if I can do this, if, if I've got what it takes, but maybe I can go on some of these trips and maybe like if she can retire her husband from his job. May, I don't know for sure, but maybe I could do that. And maybe I could bring home a significant income to maybe be able to quit my job. And all those things planted a seed and a fire in me. And from the beginning, Breezy said, okay, here's what you do. And if you want, you can invite people to my challenge group and you can start running the challenge group with me. And I was like, Let, give me a minute, give me a week. Let me see what I can do. And because if there's only two people, two people aren't going to want to hang out with just me, right? So I ended up getting a handful of people and I ran my own challenge group from what week two of being a coach, I think. <laughs> and for three years, I ran challenge groups every month. And what that did for me is I never really felt like I had anything that great to say. And I know that sounds silly, but you know, we all can relate to that. Like I can't talk like she can, or I don't have things like just that wisdom that she has. And I just started from the basic and just sharing my heart. And I was like, okay, I'm not posting this out to the world, but I'm posting this to these people who decided to sign up with me. So there was something that they must have liked about me. So I can share my heart with them. <laughs> 
so it just went from there and blossomed. And again, you know, I, I was lucky enough to go on three different trips to tropical vacations that before I really had only dreamed of, or if we had been, it was because my husband's mom took us or my dad took me on one. And all of a sudden I earned these trips. And the first trip I got to take Nicole with me, which I was actually so excited to give her that opportunity. And then the last two trips, um, my husband has been able to go and that's a big deal. That was a big deal. That was one of the reasons I signed up. Um, you know, the income has been a great blessing for my family. And, um, you know, even a little bit of money can go a long ways when it's extra. And there have been some months that I've made more than our mortgage and that's great, you know, but beyond that, beyond the money side, which again, we all have to pay bills and that's great is I think one of the biggest things that I can say that I've discovered is I've discovered that I really love people and having this opportunity as a mom of four, as a teacher online, I at times feel like I'm a virtual person and even with coaching, it's still virtually with a lot of it, but I love people. And I truly believe that everybody has a story. Everybody has fears. Everybody has struggles and everybody has triumphs and joy. And, and being able to work with people, it just lights my soul on fire. And, and especially when it comes to, um, your health, when you, get in tune with your body and you start taking care of your health and you help other people do the same thing, nothing adds up to it because all of a sudden you discover I have worth, I have value. I am worth taking a little bit of time for. And when that happens, powerful things happen in your life and being able to be a part of that is, is my passion. And I've been able to <laughs> key into that and, and have been brave enough to, to go out and learn about nutrition and become certified in nutrition. I'm not there yet, but I'm on my way. And I've been offered a job at a nutrition place. And as I picture myself doing this and I picture myself helping people with their health and fitness as I have, I'm like, this is something I only could have imagined before. So um, that's basically, <laughs> um, in a nutshell ish, what coaching has done for me. And, um, it's just something that is so much bigger than yourself. And I am so grateful that I had that opportunity. I've had that opportunity to, to step into this and be able to, to see that. So I think that's all. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you so much, ladies, for sharing your hearts. I appreciate each of you. Um, like I said before, um, if you have any questions about coaching, please reach out to the coach that shared this with you. They would be more than happy to answer any um, further questions for you. So um, with that, we will go ahead and stop and hope you all have a great night.